Um, I'm going to show you how I got this Craftsman 42 inch plow to fit my 64 Cub Cadet 100. Okay, so you just use the front bracket here, and then these are the these black ones right here are the original ones that came with this plow. Um, there's two bolt holes, one here, one here. This one bolted right up in there. <coughs> then I just cut a piece of angle bracketing that go right there so that it won't be like all floppy around. So that hold that slide solid. Um, just did the same thing over here. Got the pins and stuff. And I just used that piece of angle bracketing to hold it. Just so that I can lift and lower it. Um, it actually works. It was easier to get on than it took was on my Craftsman. My Craftsman uh, did have all the bracketing. It took forever to fi it took like a week to figure out how to get it to mount right and lift. Even then, the lifty thing would just slip and so most of the time and wouldn't raise it. And this one does so. Except it does need a little bit of work. This is just basically temporary. Right. So yeah. It's pretty cool. It sticks out kind of far, but I don't mind. And the hood's over there. Getting painted. Because I didn't like the way it turned out. And there's my starter generator. As you can see, it's been pieced together out of like three of them. Well, actually two, but yeah. <laughs> I just got that working. See, you used to only put out a... Oh, I bought the orange one on eBay for $26. Said it was guaranteed in working condition. Let me show you something. Here's the case. See that? How nice that's wound in? Look at that. It's all just like nasty and burn up and all oh, wires are showing and stuff and when I tried to start it it turned the motor over but it like it turned it over fine but it started smoking so but at least I was able to take the rotor out of this one or the armature put in here and now it'll put out 20 volts so next I need to figure out how to get it to charge right but yeah.